so I'm doing a guide for Shadow Priest um, uh, in BFA and its changes. Um, I'll go through the talents and what's changed and what's been added. So for the first set of talents, there's been a change where Shadow Word Void is back and it will it will do your damage but I just don't just don't take that you, you want to keep mind blast um, fortress of mind I just take this for single target 10% more damage of mind flame mind blast and 20% more insanity which gets you a void form quicker which is just you know your main main reason you're playing shadow then for the next talent it's really down to you but I think body and soul and San Lien is good San Lien is good because you just have so much you have so much more healing of Vampiric Embrace, which most raids take Shadow Priest for. Then for the next one, I just take Twist of Fate. Dark Void's terrible because all your targets should have Shadow Word Pain already. You don't need Void Eruption to do that for you. And Misery's good in AoE situations, but not in not in PvE. So you just want to take Twist of Fate for that extra execute damage. Mind Blast, Mind Bomb's just the best because it just stuns the target and all of them around it. Um, for the next talents, for AoE you want to take Shadow Crash, but for single target you want to take Auspicious or or spacious Spirits because it just makes them deal more damage and you get more insanity over time. For the next one you want to use Lingering Insanity because you're going to get so much more haste and for Shadow Priest the main thing is you just want to keep your haste as high as possible so your dots are ticking and you're staying in, um, in Void Form. But yeah, they've they bring Mindbender into the same talent as that, so you lose Mindbender, but you just you're getting more haste, so the Mindbender doesn't really matter. And for the last talents, Void Torrent, which was the artifact ability, has now become the last talent tree, but it's not really worth it taking it. You want to take Legacy of the Void so you can get into you can get into Void Form quicker. And Surrender to Madness is just still a meme. Like it's good on some fights probably, but yeah, not on most. So for single star target, you want to start off with Vampiric Touch to start with, and then Shadow of Pain, open up with the Mind Blast. You just want to try and get into Void Form as quick as possible so you're spamming your Mind Flayers. Make sure the target keeps dotted at all times. Use Mind Blast when it's off cooldown and then get straight into uh, Void Eruption and use use up the, your Void Bolters on cooldown with Mind Blasts. So you want to use your Mind Blasts when you see a Void Bolt coming off cooldown, use that. So you see what's coming off cooldown first, so you're going to use your Mind Blast and then your Void Bolt in the same GCD. And just keep spamming that. So you've come out of Void Form, but because you've got the Lingering Insanity, you've got more haste. So you can just keep that haste up. So now you're going to get ready to go back into Void Form. And get ready to go in again. So Void Eruption, you're back in. And then you're using Mind Blast, Void Bolt on CD, Mind Flay. Get ready to use Mind Blast, then Void Bolt. Get ready to use Void Bolt. Void Bolt. And then Mind Blast right before you go out. And keep dotted up, keep Shadow Word Pain up, redo Vampiric, and just get back into Void Form as quick as possible. And that's literally it. Not much change from Legion. Just that a few a few talents have 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 gone into the same tree. So now to show the AoE potential of Shadow, which is the main reason you really want a Shadow Priest. So I'll take Tome and take Misery, which gives Elasma Vampiric to also apply Shadow Word Pain, so I can literally just spam Vampiric and not have to dot everything up. Um, for the first time, you want to take Shadow Insight. Because you've got Shadow Word Pain on so many targets, you're just going to get instant Mind Blast, which is amazing when you're in Void Form. Mm, the the um, last word, you just don't really, you know, you don't really want to take it. You'll just, just leave that, whatever you want. And Shadow Crash, because you're going to deal 1k to every single target in that area, which is going to be so much DPS. Um, next one, you want to take Lingering Insanity, just because you're going to have so much more haste. I think that's just what you need in most cases. Then in the last talent tree, down to you, but I think Legacy of the Void again, because you're going to be you're going to get into Void form much quicker. So I'm demonstrating how you start. So you want to just keep Vampiric, Vampiric on that target, Vampiric on that target, then do the Shadow Crash. But you see, I'm already used. I already got an instant Mind Blast, so I can get into Void form very quickly. Now, in Void Form, I'm just going to Vampiric these two targets, just so I keep up uh, Shadow Word Pain and Vampiric. So you just want to keep going in, use Void Bolt, use Mind Blast, use Shadow Word Crash to get Insanity, use up my Void Bolt, 
keep these guys dotted up. Keep them dotted up again. But you want to make sure that you aren't using Shadow Word Pain if, you're, if you've got Misery. Because it's just a waste of a talent tree then. So you use your Instant Mind Blast. Use Void Eruption. Make sure everything's staying dotted. Get ready to use Shadow Crash on both targets. So you got to make sure it hits both targets if you're using Shadow Word Crash. Or Shadow Crash, sorry. Use Shadow of Pain, Vampiric, keep it up. Use Void Bolt. Use Mind Blast. And yeah, that's basically it for the AoE rotation. Not much change from Legion for Shadow Priest, just that a few talents have gone into the same tree. But there'll be more coming out on healers. And yeah. So. Thanks, and see you all soon.